Food banks across the country are sounding the alarm as some have had to turn people away because of the increased demand. People are being turned away or are uh, redirected to a different charity or the food that they're getting is less or the number of days they're getting it is less. Like it's really impacting the charitable sector. A sobering survey called Hungry for Change was released by Second Harvest Canada, which put into perspective how the food insecurity crisis in the GTA has grown to the point where one third of nonprofits providing free food have a wait list and are having to turn people away due to lack of resources. So right now, on average, the individual organizations are looking at a need of $76,000 per year in additional costs. That's billions of dollars across the country to actually support the need that's out there, which is quite frankly, not possible. And that's why we're forced to turn people away and turn organizations away. So for example, at Second Harvest alone, we have a wait list of over 70 organizations who want to access our food in the city of Toronto. The survey also showing that many organizations are bracing themselves for the worst as there is an expected 18% increase in demand this year. At the end of 2023, more than 1,400 Canadian nonprofit organizations were surveyed. 36% say they have clients who are on a wait list that can't access support. In Toronto, that number increases to 50%. Mayor Olivia Chow says they need help from all levels of government, but the city is doing this to help. The student nutrition program, the building of affordable housing, committing to 24,000 units of rent controlled rental buildings, rental units, the grant program that I talked about, they've received in not only just inflationary increase, but an extra million dollars. The grant program will assist community kitchens and food banks, for example, but both Chow and Nichols say it will take both the province and federal government to step in. Nickel is calling on the feds to bring back the surplus food rescue program and expanding the GST grocery rebate as a measure to help people and families struggling. The CEO of Second Harvest, Lori Nichols, says the next step is for all levels of government to come to the table and create concrete policies to end this issue. In Toronto, I'm Brandon Rowe for City News.